The plaintiff claims that CMS officials pressured her not to press charges after she was allegedly assaulted on school property. Queen City News anchor Derek Dellinger has been in court all day, joins us now live from Uptown Charlotte. All right, so Derek, what's been the general energy that you've seen in the courtroom today? Well, the general energy has been, well, simply put, things are going by very quickly, at least so far in court. The trial itself has started in earnest. The jury was seated and opening statements were made. The plaintiffs are right now on their fourth witness on this. This witness that's testifying right now specifically, at least according to the lawsuit, is alleging that the student resource officer that was initially handling the uh, sexual assault investigation specifically into this victim who has filed suit against CMS, that they apparently did not do what they needed. Needed to, and that's really at the center of this case. Did CMS and did uh, CMPD really do what was required of them at the time? That is something that is at question here. Now, as far as the plaintiffs are concerned, they are making the case with these witnesses that CMS and CMPD had a duty to protect, but did not, and that there was a pattern of this. They, in fact, they brought up a number of other witnesses, including some who had reported to have been sexually assaulted and reported that their uh, sexual assault investigation was not handled in the right way. Now, the defendants on this include the city of Charlotte and CMS, and specifically, they say that they did everything that was necessary. In fact, they noted that the victim specifically in this case did not specifically say that they were attacked uh, when they reported it to police and also reports were never filed on the actions of the student resource officer that day. Now, as far as that victim is concerned, we do know that a number of victims have come forward over the years as far as sexual assaults at uh, Myers Park High School, but we know this one does not appear to be one that we are familiar with. You may be familiar with some of the people that have come forward previously. This is uh, someone who is new and, and as a part of the uh, order here. Uh, their name is under seal. They were identified, in fact, even in court as Jane Doe. I'm going to be heading back into the courtroom, see what else we get. I'll have an update coming up at five. In the meantime, live and up down, Derek Dellinger, Queen City News.